So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in this video we're going to be doing something that I haven't done for a while. We are going to be going back into multiplayer looking for trophies. Now I have been focusing a lot on a lot of single player grinds recently but I decided it was time to head back into multiplayer to look for some other trophies that I have been wanting to get for the trophy lodge. And we're starting off here on Revon Tuli Coast with a nine legendary brown bear. Now he's got a pretty good estimate of 27 to 30. So I was pretty confident this guy was going to be a diamond and hopefully a big diamond with an estimate like that. Now, as you will see there, he was sat resting and I managed to actually drop him there on the spot. So I was hopeful that I maybe had hit the heart or something and picking him up. Up, I had actually gone through the right lung and into the heart which is why he dropped and he is actually a really big diamond he is max weight at 482 kilos and he scores 28.86 which I think might be my biggest diamond brown bear ever he's definitely up there for one of my biggest if he isn't the biggest I've ever had so really happy about that it would have been cool if he had been max score as well as max weight but still that's a really really big diamond bear for the trophy lodge so really really happy about that now moving on to this next clip and I spotted a male raccoon dog running away that I thought looked a little bit different. So I went and picked up the tracks and sure enough it's actually a dark brown. Now I have never had a dark brown raccoon dog. This is actually one of the rare fur types for these guys and they do seem to actually be pretty rare because I am always in raccoon dog territory on Revon Tuli. I pretty much always check through where raccoon dogs are looking for the different rares and I've never come across one of these. The only rares that I've had have been the orange fur type and the albino fur type. So I was really excited to actually get one of these. I've only seen a couple of these posted and you know in videos and stuff. So really really exciting to actually see one myself. I just knew he looked different. But you may have noticed I made a big mistake. I actually shot this guy with the 44. Now that was totally my error. This was quite late at night and I just had it in my head that these guys were class 3 for some reason. They're not, they're class 2 as you can quite clearly see. So unfortunately we do lose the correct ammo harvest check on this guy. He would have just been a silver so he goes down to being a bronze so thankfully I didn't mess up a gold scoring one but kind of unfortunate that I used the wrong weapon. I feel so silly that I ended up using the wrong weapon. But like I said, it was just one of those things. I'm super, super happy to have this guy for the trophy lodge. And I'm just really, really stoked to actually have another of the rare furs for these guys. I still really want to find the piebald varieties because they look awesome. But I'm so, so pleased to have one of these put in the lodge. Because like I said, they do seem to be really quite, quite rare. Probably because they're hard to notice if you're not looking looking really closely you know it's not like as obvious as an albino or something so a really cool one to actually find now talking of albinos still on Revon Tuli coast and I spotted this a level three albino female brown bear now these are really really rare I have only ever shot one albino brown bear and it was actually back when brown bear were only on Medved way before Revon Tuli coast ever came out so this is my first time actually seeing a albino brown bear with the new models and fur textures actually like out in the environment obviously the one in my lodge updated with the new furs and everything so I'd seen one in the lodge but I had to actually hadn't seen one sort of alive and in game so this is really really cool and they look so fantastic i mean look at that they look so much better now than they did back when like i said when they were just on medved really really beautiful that's absolutely stunning she is a silver level three female and we're obviously going to tax her and send her straight to the trophy lodge like i said these guys are really quite rare so i'm super pleased to actually get another one and i'm just pleased to have actually seen this new albino sort of texture and model actually out walking around on a reserve and not just in the trophy lodge i always prefer that when animals get an updated model to get the rares sort of again so i'm super super happy to add this one to the trophy lodge now for the rest of the video we're going to be moving over to emerald coast where i've had quite a bit of success in the last few days so we're starting off with a level 5 banteng now of course the level 5 banteng aren't extremely rare but i do spend a lot of time 
time in Banteng territory, still looking for a couple of rare males. I do have an albino female and a melanistic female, but I would really love to get an albino bull and a melanistic bull to replace those with at some point. So I spend a lot of time sort of looking through herds, and that means that I do come across quite a few level fives, like this one here, which as you can see, he has just dropped in those trees over there. So going to pick him up, he looks to be pretty decent size. I've not actually seen any level 5 Banteng that have actually trolled. I've not seen any in any pictures or videos or anything. So I don't know if the level 5s can actually troll, seeing as a lot of the max weight estimate level 4s make it. But we do have a decent sized diamond here at 139.73. Not massive, but still a nice diamond. Moving on to the next clip, and we have another level 5 Banteng. This time it is the Mocha fur type, and it's actually a guaranteed diamond with that 143 to 154 estimate. So even like I said, if Banteng maybe actually can troll, like I said, I actually haven't seen it. So if any of you guys have seen a troll level 5 Banteng, do let me know because that would be really, really interesting. But either way, this guy is guaranteed to make it and guaranteed to be pretty big with that 143 minimum estimate. And you can see he actually goes aggressive here after I shot him, which is always so cool to see. I love seeing these different behaviours from animals in the game. So I love it when things like this happen. And then you can see he does actually finally tip over there. Such a beautiful looking fur type. I do love the different furs for the Banteng. The dark brown I think is my favourite, but the mocha and the other sort of just standard brown coat are both really beautiful as well. The Banteng models are fantastic and at some point, you know, a super rare for these guys for me would be an absolute dream. And I actually have been on and off shooting them on my map, sort of grinding them a little bit when I need cash and stuff. Kind of hoping that maybe at some point I might do a super rare grind just because these guys are so fantastic. And that guy was a decent sized diamond at 143.59, so a nice Banteng diamond. Now moving on to the next clip, and you can see the animal that we have here already on screen. An albino level 5 male saltwater crocodile. Now this is actually my first albino male crocodile, so I was really, really excited to see this guy. And it's in the exact same place as where I got my first albino female, right at the top of this beach section here along the coast. Which is just wild to me that my first albino female was in this exact same spot, and then the first albino male I get obviously in a completely different multiplayer session like of several months apart is actually in the same spot but such a cool animal now unfortunately as you can see i'm getting really badly attacked as i was in the harvest screen and you're gonna see it's gonna kick me out of the harvest screen here unfortunately so we'll be taking a look at a screenshot here so unfortunately you can't actually go into obviously looking at the animal in sort of closer detail but it's such a fantastic animal. I really, really love the rare crocodiles and I really hope to get more. I know that there's apparently a couple of different piebald variations, the leucistic and the melanistic variations, and they all look so fantastic. So that's definitely something that I'm going to continue chasing after is the different rares for these guys. But I'm super happy to actually replace the albino female in my lodge with a nice albino male. Now moving on to the next clip and we have a level 5 hog deer. Now I, when I spotted this guy, thought that he was probably going to be a troll. He just didn't look all that big to me. He's obviously a very nice specimen, but he just didn't look quite as big to me as my first diamond for these guys. So I wasn't sure if he was going to be another troll, as I've had a few trolls for these guys, or if he would actually make diamond. Looking at him here, I thought he had pretty good mass. So I was crossing my fingers, and upon picking him up, he does actually just make diamond at 108.91 so he's not a whole lot over that diamond requirement but he is a diamond so this is my second diamond ever for these guys and you can see the 44 doing absolute work there and just basically going through all of this guy's organs such a fantastic gun for these guys and I'm super, super happy to have another diamond for these guys because they look so good. I really love the mass in their antlers. And it is antlers, even though the trophy type says horns. That's something that bugs me every time I shoot one of these guys. It needs to be corrected to antlers. But I'm super happy to have another diamond for the trophy lodge. Now, moving on to the next clip, and funny enough, this clip was taken in the exact same server at the exact same lake, but just 
at a different time to that diamond hog deer. This was a huge level 5 sandbar. There was no doubt in my mind that this was going to be a really big diamond. He looked absolutely massive. But literally the only difference is the time. If these had been drinking at the same time, you know, if hog deer and sandbar drank at the same time, they would have been side by side at this lake. Literally the same lake, the same zone, the same server, just different times. And you can see there in the chat, because we are in multiplayer, you can see the hog deer was my previous harvest with the plus 500, and then the sandbar diamond here with the plus 500 too. Now this guy is actually, I believe, my biggest diamond sandbar ever at 173.20. Now I have seen bigger diamond sandbar than this, you know, I've seen them posted, but this is just an incredible looking beast to me. I mean, the spread on those antlers is just absolutely fantastic. What an amazing, amazing sandbar. Now, moving on to the second to last clip in this video, and we have something that I have been searching for ever since Emerald Coast released, and that is a piebald magpie goose. You can see her here walking towards us, and I actually almost missed her. I didn't see where she landed because this particular bird sort of landed slightly away from the rest of the flock. There was a couple that landed sort of off to the side and I didn't initially actually spot her and I was about to shoot the 22 to spook off the flock so that, you know, they had all cleared off and then more flocks when they come in, I'd just be looking at just those birds. But then looking through the scope and just checking I hadn't missed anything... I spotted her and this is literally one of the things I have wanted the most since this map came out is some more rare magpie geese. Obviously I got the melanistic in early access and then actually found a even bigger melanistic in the live game. But since seeing the piebolds and the leucistics posted, I have wanted desperately to get the piebold variations and a leucistic for the trophy lodge. So I am absolutely beyond thrilled to add this absolutely stunning bird to my trophy lodge. What a gorgeous, gorgeous looking creature. That piebold pattern just looks amazing. I'm so incredibly stoked. And sticking with the theme of piebolds here on Emerald Coast that I have been searching for... We have a level four piebald sandbar, and this got me so excited. I have been checking the hotspots for sandbar, looking for rares, basically, again, since the map came out. And the only rare I had found had been a leucistic female. And she is absolutely beautiful, and she is in my main lodge because she is just so stunning. But I really wanted to get some rare males. And to get a nice size level four piebald as the first rare male I've seen... I was so excited. The piebolds for these guys are just stunning and he's got such a nice set of antlers too. Obviously not anywhere near being sort of big level four or diamond size, but just a nice set of antlers on him. I have seen some really, really, really tiny sandbar stags. And I'm so pleased that the first rare male I get actually is a really decent size one. I just love how this stag looks. He is absolutely gorgeous i mean that piebald pattern is stunning just absolutely gorgeous this is just a, such a fantastic trophy to me i am so incredibly stoked about this he is a gold which i expected with him being a nice size level four he's not massively into gold as a 126.31 but i did kind of think he was gonna make it and he is just absolutely stunning again the 44 doing absolutely fantastic work there just going through all of those organs right from double lung through to the liver through even to the stomach which is just fantastic it's such a great gun i absolutely love it and just look at this absolutely stunning animal that is just gorgeous that darker brown fur mixed with that white patterning is so beautiful and the way that the actual the white blends in with that darker fur is just gorgeous. This is such a stunning animal. I love finding rares in this game. It's one of my absolute favorite things when I'm chasing trophies is finding some of these rares. And for me, that piebald magpie goose and this piebald sandbar are two things I've really, really been hoping for. And I'm super, super stoked to actually have both of them to send to the main trophy lodge. I mean, these are main lodge additions for me, definitely. They are just both so absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I am beyond thrilled. 
But that is going to be it for this video. I'm really excited to share the trophies that I got in this one. Some that I was really excited to get. Things like the dark brown raccoon dog being a bit more obscure. That was really cool. And then, of course, these two beautiful pie molds here at the end. And then the albino brown bear. That was super cool. And then a couple of really nice sized diamonds in this video as well. So, yeah, I'm really, really thrilled with my return to multiplayer hunting. And I definitely am going to be doing a lot more multiplayer hunting in the months going forward obviously i've spent a lot of time recently doing a lot of single player grinds like i mentioned for different great ones and stuff but a lot of that is sort of coming towards the end now and there's a lot of other things that i want to focus on so yeah probably going to be doing a lot more multiplayer hunting once again and i'm really really excited about it but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always thank you so so much for 11,000 subs that's just beyond amazing you are all just so incredibly kind and i appreciate appreciate it just so incredibly much so thank you so so much but like i said that is going to be it for this one so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you